For today, we're playing God of War Ragnarok and with the ROG Ally. And we're playing the game on 1080p at the medium settings with FSR active. Alright, here we go with that. There's FSR 3. No frame gen yet. And at medium. Yeah, honestly, it's doing worse than expected. Sitting into the mid 20s and the high 20s. And the game is stuttering quite a bit as well. And the graphics, honestly, aren't looking that great either with FSR Active. I'm surprised again. Because with the LSS, it was looking quite nice. As good as before, pretty much. But uh, with FSR 3, the water does look quite poor. And so do the graphics in general. Yeah, I think for the ally, it's best to skip to ADP, to be honest. It is just having a hard time running it. I mean, we can use frame gen, but even then, is it really worth it? Probably not. I think it's best to play at a lower resolution and use the base FSR 3 feature to get more frames. More stable frames. Pretty wild, guys. 24. Huh. I mean, obviously not really playable. It is just far too inconsistent. Full on into the low 20s, stuttering, and just overall a bad time. All right, frame gen active, and wow. It is doing quite nicely, actually. Can't feel any stutters at all. But the input delay is definitely far worse, even on controller. I can definitely feel it. There's a slight delay, but I'm quite impressed. It is doing way better. I can't feel any of those harsh stutters and those major FPS dips anymore. But again, the input delay is quite a bit worse. Where's my axe? Is the game playable now? Yeah, I think it can be, but not the most ideal way to play it, to be honest. We did get some stutters still, guys, but it is just... It's very minor. And even with frame gen active, we are sitting at 30 FPS here. That is crazy low. 30 FPS with frame gen. I mean, it's doing a decent job, though. Alright, back for a second run. Playing at 100p, no FSR. The game looks quite good, to be honest. It is pretty clean. But FPS-wise... Low 20s. Low to mid 20s. So, yeah, so far not playable at native. Yeah, the water looks way better here. Way cleaner. Looks really nice. But with FSR active, it was pretty awful, I would say. I think frame gen helped it out a little bit. Made it look softer and smoother, but just normal FSR looked pretty bad, I would say. Alright, right here though, the stuttering is about the same. The game is just having a hard time running. Falling down to the low 20s and back up into the high 20s. So yeah, not really playable. Let's enable FSR 3 again and see how we go there. Yeah, the water again is just looking so bad. It's like flickering pretty much. Not a big fan of it. And again, the FPS is falling down into the low 20s, back up into the mid 20s. Just having a hard time running, guys. We can get 30 FPS, but not very stable at all. Alright, frame gen active, we're back up into the low to mid 50s and down into the low 40s right here. I think the low settings is probably the move for this one. Uh, unless you want to use frame gen. I'm surprised how poorly it's running to be honest. Maybe, I don't know, maybe the low settings will help us out. Alright, let's okay, let's pause it here guys, back out and play the low settings and see if we can get a stable frame rate going there without the need of frame gen. So, so far 1080p is pretty much... I guess unplayable, I don't know, it's not very ideal at all. You can get 30 and above with frame gen, but at the same time, it does fall down quite a bit still. But at 900p, it's far more stable with frame gen, sitting into the 40s and 50s on average, but it can still fall down into the 30s in those heavier scenes. All right, graphics, let's disable frame gen, keep FSR active and low settings. Let's try it again. All right, back here again with FSR active, no frame gen, just have a look again. Yeah, no frame gen, FSR 3, low settings, and yeah, doing way better now. 40 to 50 FPS, the game's having a, an easier time running, that's for sure. And for the graphics, it's pretty good actually. So I think for the ally, low settings is the move. Yeah guys, it is doing way better now. Like right here, now that you mention it. it does fall down into the low 40s, but... Like before, it was falling down to the low 20s, so it's a massive improvement. And with frame gen active, 60 FPS should be doable at this point. Alright, here we go. Yep. 
can't feel the status from before. Doing pretty good actually. Yeah, during the fight it felt pretty good. It felt responsive enough. And I couldn't feel too many stutters or any at all. So yeah, I think already this is playable. I would cap the FPS ideally to 30 to be safe. But 40 FPS is also fine as well, I think. And with frames inactive, we're now sitting into the 60s. Get this last guy as well. Done. Oh, there's one more. So yeah, I think sadly the low settings is the move so far for the ally. It is just far more playable and far more stable. All right, time for 720p, 30 watts, and then we can move on to 15 watts as well. A great start so far into the 50s. GP is fully maxed out. But the water is having the same issue as before. We are playing a native here, as you guys can see. No FSR, but the water is still flickering. So I think at this point, just use FSR, I would say, because yeah, the water is having the same issue. For the sharpness, it looks pretty good, actually. Looks definitely usable. And I think this will be a far more stable 60 versus before. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let's go down here. Have a look again. It does fall down into the high 30s here. So without FSR or any upscaling, we will need an FPS cap ideally of 30 or 40. I think 30 is the move, to be honest, if you don't want to use FSR. Okay, FSR 3 with frames inactive. And now we're sitting at around 70 to 80 up into the 90s. Okay, let's go back here again. One more time. I want to see how we go with frame gen. And around 70 FPS here. I think during the, I guess, fast traveling points when you go through the portal, it's going to fall down below this. But just during gameplay, you should be fine sitting at 60 FPS. All right, playing at 15 watts with frame gen active. So far, we're sitting at 60 FPS. Just barely holding 60. Here we go. Right here, falling down into the mid 40s. So, yeah, there we go. Go around. See how we go during the fights. Broke my shield. No. Oh, I should have just recovered there. Around 40 FPS during the fights as well, guys. So yeah, I think ideally playing at 30 watts is the move for this one. Playing at 15 is playable, but it can be risky. 30 watts playing at 100p or 720p. Ideally at the low settings. Can play at medium as well, but frame gen is definitely needed. While at the low settings, you can play at native at 720p. So yeah, that is God of War on the ROG Ally. Hope you guys enjoyed, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time, next video. See you guys there.